The interface of Capture One is essentially divided into four different areas. Tool tabs with tools to the left, viewer in the center, browser to the right, and the toolbar at the top, which also contains the cursor tools. We'll get back to those cursor tools shortly. It's easy to hide the tools, viewer or browser from the view menu. You'll probably find it faster and more convenient to use the shortcut keys. Edit any shortcut key in Capture One from the Edit Keyboard Shortcuts menu. The tools are divided into tool tabs for different categories of tools based on their title and icon. For example, the library tab contains tools for managing and filtering your photos and the adjust tab contains tools for adjusting exposure, brightness, contrast and color. Add and customize your own tool tabs by clicking here. Each tool tab has a pinned area of tools and a scrollable area of tools. Tools can easily be dragged between the two spaces. The order of tools can also be changed to your own preference. The browser shows available photos from the current collection selected in the library tool. The viewer shows the currently selected photo from the browser. Cursor tools change how the cursor behaves and what actions it can perform. The pan cursor tool is a good one to get familiar with. I can double click to zoom in, click drag to pan around, and double click to zoom back out again. Another useful one is the crop cursor tool here. Right clicking with a cursor tool can reveal handy shortcuts relevant to that tool. The toolbar contains various action buttons I can enable, like the before and after view. Hover over any cursor tool, tool or toolbar button for a short explanation and links to more help. Most of the tools in Capture One work in a very similar way. Drag the slider to change the adjustment. Long press on the name of any adjustment to temporarily reset it. Double click anywhere on the slider to reset it to zero. Each tool has a couple of standard features linked to them via the icons in the top. The magic wand is for auto adjusting the tool. The double-sided arrow is a tool-based copy apply feature which can be handy for quick selective copying. The rounded arrow resets the entire tool. Option click this for a temporary reset. The hamburger menu contains presets for the tool, while the three dots function as a sub-menu with additional tool-based features. The interface in Capture One is highly customizable. Explore the options in the View menu to make a workspace that works for you. And finally, don't forget to save your workspaces in the menu here.